In this video, I'm going to be breaking down kind of what I think in a live online game of Madden 21 on both offense and on defense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if you're new to my YouTube channel, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you right now to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Uh, and the reason why is because that's going to let you know whenever we release a new video. And if you want to know as soon as a video goes live, go ahead and turn on that bell notification icon. That way you can know whenever we release uh, new videos that can help you uh, become a better player. Now, I like to do with these gameplays is just kind of walk you through what I'm thinking, why I do what I do, and kind of my decision making, and kind of share maybe a little bit of some of the reads and things like that. So I've been working a little bit on a brand new, uh, to, new to me I guess, not new to everybody else, but uh, a new gun bunch uh, offense here out of the New York Jets playbook. And I've really been enjoying it a lot. Um, I love the New York Jets playbook because it combines a lot of the stuff that I've been doing throughout the entire season. The trips tied in, the 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 bunch, the bunch tied in even more in particular. And so uh, you're going to see that I'm going to move uh, in between bunch and bunch tied in quite a bit um, throughout, the, uh, throughout the course of this game here. And we're going to see if we can get this motion or this snapped and get up there with Barry. So just kind of started out with a really simple little inside zone uh, as to, you know, while I'm kind of setting my audibles up here. And again, this 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 offense right here is super, super good. Um, a lot you could, there's so much you could do with it. That's what makes it so good uh, is there's just so many possibilities and things that you can do. Uh, right here, I'm going to go to PA boot over. And the reason why is just, again, because of the, mainly because of the clock, uh, just because of the play clock and everything. And I don't have everything set up the way I want to yet to pass from bunch. So we're just going to do this and go ahead and get out of the pocket here with Rodgers. Try to get a first down. Probably should have dove right there. Like I am going to be in a third and one. And so what I'm going to do is set up a single back Y trips. And this is also why I like this playbook a lot. They have some really, really good runs out of three by one or a three wide receiver. I think it's technically called 11 personnel where you have one running back, one tight end and three receivers. But uh, right here, you're going to see, I'm going to go down. If I can get to it in time, I'm going to go down to that one trap. It's a really quick audible. As you can see right there, you know, just quick audible and just try to kind of get that first down. Now I need to get Barry Sanders out of the game. Uh, I actually have been running a lot more of Marcel Reese uh, at, at halfback. And the main reason is because um, he has really, really, really good trucking. Now, one of the things that's kind of coming back to bite me a little bit here is the play clock. Uh, just keep going down on me. Good old mutt with that short play clock. Got to really know what you're doing. Um, right here, we're just going to get it out quick to Marcel Reese. You know, just kind of get a little quick first down throw. And really the beauty of the bunch is, and I think this is how you, to me, this is truly um, how you master the gun bunch there. I miss a read, but this is truly how you master the gun bunch is through, if you can master your quick flat routes, that to me makes such a big, big difference when you're talking about this offense. So anyway, right here, I'm going to go to inside switch out of the bunch tight end, uh, just a simple uh, man beater. I can't snap the ball for whatever reason. Uh, but right there, Terry McLaurin comes up with a big dot for me on first and 10. And the biggest reason why I like Bunch, to be honest with you, is because of this play flood. I think that this play flood uh, just does a lot of really, really good things here. Here, I'm going to try to burn him deep. And of course, I didn't see the safety over the top. And I got lucky that I didn't throw an interception. Um, that's that. I should have passed led that, I guess, to the outside uh, so that it could have got away from the safety a little bit more. But good defense by my opponent. Now, when they're running a lot of man coverage, and I'm running, and I want to run the play flood, uh, I don't normally run flood like you would normally run it. I, I do it a little bit differently here. You'll see that I'll do these little um, running back, running back little in routes. I find that those routes do a really good job at getting open a lot uh, against you know a lot of what people are going to try to do. So like right here, we're going to flip, you know, flip, and then flip again. And then flip again but you'll see here like this tight end drag does pretty good the running back obviously does pretty good you see that route there's just little underneath routes to me gun bunch is all about the underneath i i i wouldn't tell you that um if you can master the underneath of this offense that's where you're going to be really good and i don't see a lot of people run tight end drags from gun bunch 
but I feel like tight end drags are really, really good. It forces them to have to do specific adjustments on that side. You see how they like that's the one step. I think he's got a one step ahead on him. Troy Vincent there, um, you know, and we, he's still kind of lagging behind because of the just the quickness of the route, how it gets out, how it gets out there and gets open uh, against that coverage. So that's another little tip, you know. And again, this you're not going to see anything groundbreaking. You'll see some stuff that's actually probably pretty, you know, underrated out of bunch in my opinion, like these quick little drags to the tight end, quick in routes. You know, just these little quick routes. And then what that's going to do um, is it's going to set up, you know, some other other things down the road. It's so like right here. Um, another route that's like super underrated. I actually learned this from watching Drini, but just a simple little tight end out route is really, really good. Uh, right there, I playmakered the guy. He decided he didn't want to listen to me, so that's fine. Um, it's actually really, really bad. But uh, we're going to block the tight end here just to give us a little bit of extra time playmaker him so he beats the man there we go and that's going to put us in field goal range and we're okay with that you know first drive you know obviously you want to go get seven but we're going to try to make sure that we make this field goal I i've got to tell you guys that i am probably the worst kicker in the history of madden 21 uh, i struggle when it comes to special teams so hopefully we'll be able to make this kick and get on the board and get up by one possession and it's up and it's good by the skin of my teeth so it is good um we did make the kick so now we got to get on defense and make some plays i actually feel very confident in my defense my defense is probably my stronger side of my my game than my offense right now just because anytime you're learning a new offense there is a learning curve to that and so you have to kind of you know learn as you go you got to learn okay this stops this this stops this this stops this you have your base calls but you have to kind of you you have to fail you know and, and you, you you just have to you have to learn by failing in my opinion obviously you're not going to fail as much if you have your base plays and you've done your homework and you've practiced but you're still going to fail so you got to kind of learn and work through that a little bit but anyway defensively here uh, i'm running four one step aheads and the reason why i'm doing that is just simply because uh, and you'll see right here, it looks like he's going to come out and just go and gun spread. So we're just going to kind of come out and play some man coverage on the gun spread. I'm going to use her chin here. And that's... Uh, I don't really agree with that being a completed pass. I, I don't think that was a great read there. But anyway, we're going to put Sean Taylor there. And then we're going to move... Um, we got to get Justin Reed out of there. So we're going to move him out. Move him to the back there. And then we're going to have Sean Taylor down here. So, and the reason why is because I like to run something like this right here, um, specifically against like a gun spread, a little more heavy pressure and just trying to force turnovers, just trying to force them into mistakes here. Obviously if there's a table route, he might have it, um, ends up taking a delay again. Also really like the quarters coverage. So like another thing that we'll do is we'll move depending on the situation. You know, I fully like to move um, move my slot corner around a lot too. So you see, like right here, Moss isn't going to get pressed, but we're in a pretty advantageous position right here. This is this is what I'm talking about. Mike Blitzo as kind of your base man. I actually really like it as a base man coverage, um, almost a little bit better than even cover two man, at least for me right now. Now, if you want to get my full defensive ebook, it is in the description. It's just 15 bucks. Um, my offensive one is on the bunch tight end. So if you want to get the bunch tight end version, it's in there. Uh, there's other ebooks I've done, like New England. Uh, I've done spread. And then I've done, obviously, the bunch tight end. So if you want to get any of that stuff, that's in the description. Uh, the bunch offense will be coming out as soon as I work out all the kinks of it. And... Looks like we're gonna be okay. So it looks like we're running Baltimore playbook. So this is guy. This guy is gonna be an absolute demon, um, and just gonna want to run with a monitor replay. So that's gonna change a little bit of the defensive strategy. So what I what I, so when they when you notice that they're doing that, um, you know that's when you need to. That's like I don't even mess around with it. So you'll see what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move Justin Reed down to the linebacker position. And then I've got the other one step ahead guy there. And I've got Sean Taylor in the back end. So if you'll watch here, I'm going to go to this um, man coverage and just spy everybody. And really, the running back's uncovered, but it is what it is. And as you can see here, we're just, you know, he's got Tebow. He's going to run QB power. And 
that's going to be how he stretches. So it's going to be his plan, you know. So we're just, you know, we're not going to mess around with that too much. And we're not, you know, anytime you see Tim Tebow in the game, you know they're not going to pass. So, um, and he's going to run it again. And there you go. There's the, there's the run D doing its job. And if, also, real quick, if you have any Madden questions and you want to ask me any Madden questions, you can always text me. My number is, uh, I did just get a new cell phone number, but my number is 208. Uh, one sec. My number is 208-218-6900. Sorry about that. I was kind of locking in a little bit. And there we go. So that's going to force three. We're going to take a timeout right here. We do have a minute and five to be able to go down and score. Now, obviously, we've, we've got to – one of the things that you have to understand is where you put that linebacker is also really important. So, like, out of 3-3-5 three, three, wide, I want to put that linebacker over here with that one step so that, um, you know, he's in a good position. And, obviously, you want to move him around, but you'll see, like, when you run this, now he's on the he's on the right side. So, as long as there's a receiver, normally that would be to the wide side of the field. You always want to have that, that fourth one step ahead – as your wide side of the field guy unless they're running trips tight end or something like that then you would then you might want to flip that so i just thinks to just things to know things to think about but we do have a minute and one second left so we have plenty of time to be able to go down um he does get ball at halftime so this is actually a really important drive for me uh, i need to go down i need to get some points i, I don't necessarily think i need to get seven i want to get seven I don't think I have to get seven. So, um, you know, so anyway, it's a little bit different uh, play calling. We're going to go with that smash return. And then obviously we've got the flood concept that we're going to be using. In here, just to kind of see, just to kind of see what he's doing, uh, we're just going to kind of run this. And just see there's that man coverage. And he did take him, did play him a lot better on that play. So it looks like mainly just three through five normal. Man coverage with one step ahead is kind of his strategy. And that's why I say, like, when I see someone doing that, that's what I like to begin to work through the tight end. Um, doesn't have, I don't think he has a great guy to cover him. Uh, and then obviously the playmaker, which you see right there, the playmaker doing its thing, getting up field, getting out of bounds, and putting us in a position, you know, a much more advantageous position. But like I said, you know, you can use motion. The other thing that you can do, though, and this is something that's really cool about this offense is, you know, let's say that they're, you know, let's say that you're doing it like this, right? So I could do something as simple as this. But now you notice that the one step ahead corner is not covering, you know, you see they're going to move, they're going to change, they're going to shift. And so that's another thing that I really, really like uh, to have. Um, in my back pocket you see there the playmaker dot getting open again that time was probably bad stick work i probably could have got it up even more you know but the playmaker dot is such a good read against man coverage it's so clean um as you notice here again motion snapping can change things so for example i can go to smash return and then i could do you know something like this right here and now i'm going to have you know trying to create different mismatches um for my tight end uh, right there nice little low ball and that's the the low balls out a bunch i've noticed this this season i think they're the best way to throw low balls uh, just the way the bunch works like you're gonna have a lot of success against low balls so right here we're gonna go to flood again but this time we're gonna flip it and use that drag to vernon davis here and you see just absolutely roast the man in the coverage. Even if even if even with one step ahead, it's an alignment problem. You know, he's not pressing his man coverage, so he's not having, you know, great results there. Um, let's see what we're gonna do here. Due to kind of what he's doing, I kind of feel like we should just do the playmaker. I think we can catch him here if we run this, just like this. That's okay. We need to get rid of the ball. And that's where you don't want to be so risky that you take things away. Uh, right here, we're going to do a little hot route master technique. And that's basically to flip your bunch around. And as you can see here, we're going to basically create um, hopefully some open openings here within this defense. 
and my guy's not coming around, and that's a huge... That's about the worst thing that could possibly happen. Actually, the worst thing that could probably happen is what I just did. Um, I can't snap the ball. That's that's about the worst end of half management that you could possibly get from me. Uh, just really, really bad right there. It cost myself three points. Um, so many, so many issues with what I did. I was trying to score. To, I was trying to do way too much. I was trying to score a touchdown. I had the crossing route. But I didn't, you know, again, I'm a little leery of one step ahead sometimes. Sometimes I just go out and make some crazy plays. So, you know, good good defense by him. Bad, bad all around by me at the end of half there. That was just very unfortunate. Now, he is on the wide side of the field. Or, uh, so I always want to have Justin Reed, depending on his offense. And I think for spread, it'll be very true that I want Justin Reed on the wide side here so I can put him in man coverage. Unfortunately, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to, so that's fine. So again, gun spread here. Come down, there's a crossing route. Yeah, that's what I want to prevent. I don't want Justin Reed in a, in a quarterback spy. So uh, let's try putting Justin Reed on this side because the defense is going to auto flip. There we go. Now that's more what we're looking for. A little three-man rush. Got a hard flood on that side in case he goes to the flat. There. And that's pretty good defense right there. Now, I haven't ran a lot of quarters. Uh, I normally do run a lot of quarters. But the way this guy is playing, I don't think he wants to be in a position where, where, he, has to, where he has to throw. I'm going to leave a QB spy out there. And I need that pick right there. Darius Slay is in a great position to be able to make a play. That brings up a fourth and three. Now, this is a situation where, her, again, you know, based on, again, it's, it's all about situational awareness. So, like, right here, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put Justin Reed at the safety position so that I can have one step on all of my man coverage. And then we're going to send some pressure. Uh, and basically the running back, if the running back shoots to the flat, we definitely need to go get him. If he doesn't, if he doesn't shoot, we probably got to take the slant here. So we're going to blitz our user and there we go. And I don't know how Randy Moss just did that, but that's a touchdown. I don't, I don't know what just happened on there. I didn't even see it. Uh, honestly, didn't think twice about it. I don't really know what route that was because the safety was in position to be over top. So... Not sure how Randy Moss got over the top of that coverage. Um, Justin Reed is one step ahead. He's a 99 overall, so you know it is what it is. But uh, maybe we need to mix in some quarters. Uh, offenses now, all the pressure swings back to the offense here. Offenses, you know, if I get that field goal and it's six to ten, not a big of a deal because I missed the or, uh, because I jacked up the end of half and probably one of the worst clock management uh, sequences in history. I mean, multiple times we're almost either, the the hard part with Madden this year is throwing the ball away is not a great strategy because you get so many random intentional groundings. Um, you know, sometimes it's kind of outside. Of, sometimes it's there's so many times that you get intentional groundings. So you know that's where you also have to kind of watch out for it. But anyways, so we're gonna jump back into the bunch here, and we got Terry McLaren on the strong side. The reason that. You move if you move that playmaker around, you gotta move him, you know, either side of the bunch. The reason that matters is because, like right here, you're gonna see that I'm gonna audible to bunch tight end, and when I audible to bunch tight end, McLaurin is gonna now go into the inside slot, which is where I want him to be, because I can then playmaker that drag, you know, wherever I want to playmaker it. So you know, and get get him to burn the tight out here, you know. But this this. Uh, this offense is super, super good. So, again, I'm just going to double team on the outside here. This is kind of the meta way to run this. You know, but just – but now the thing is I have this playmaker. So, if he's running man coverage only, now you see how open that is? That little playmaker dot, I think that's the best playmaker dot in the game. He's completely unbumpable from bunch tight end. Uh, and so, you can you can really, really uh, make it matter, you know, by doing it that way. And, again, you know, he didn't like that. We're going to kind of stick in this boot over just because – um, you know, I don't, I don't think it also gives me a great matchup on, on him. You see here, once again, 
Just playmaker him over the left side. Quick dot. And now we're going to move him back over cross here. But again, based off of the situation, you can kind of, um, you know, you can kind of change where you want to put your playmaker based on what you want to do route wise. It's so like right here, I just want to run a simple flood concept, you know, with a playmaker based on the way he's running. Um, and there we got it over the top of him with that little stock fade, dot over the top, touchdown, Cowboys. Tyreek Hill over the top for a one-play touchdown out of that little... And that's why, to me, that is one of the things that makes Flood so hard to stop. You have this amazing fade route. Um, that stock fade route is super glitchy, super effective against a lot of different things. That's going to make it 10 to 10, put the defense back on the field, and hopefully we won't bust a coverage again and we'll be able to be very consistent uh, with things here. So... You know, offensively, off offensively, you know, came back and did what we needed to do. Now defensively, we need to get back on the field and do what we need to do. And again, that playmaker is so glitchy. It's, it's probably next to Gunslinger. It's got to be the best ability, you know. And then, and then from there, it's probably you know, matchup nightmare or route tech or back from you know any of the route running abilities. But the playmaker is truly amazing. It's it's just truly an amazing ability. Okay, so. Um, we're going to move, I think we're going to keep Justin Reed back there and we're going to kind of give him a different look. He has decided to be a little bit more, uh, pass heavy. So we're going to go with some quarters here. Just kind of see how he responds to it. There, there. Throws in the three or four guys and you know, that's okay. You live with that. You know, you got to live with that. That's okay. Threw it into three. I think I think he threw it into four four different players, you know. So it is what it is. And now here he comes back out in his wing. Um, and just slamming up with Amar. So it looks like once he throws a dot, he likes to come back out and run the ball. Uh, one of the things that I also need to do is make sure I put universal. The best uh, for defense, if you're looking to get better, whoops, let's do that right there. I actually really like this defense. This is a good look for the defense right here. We just need to not blow our coverages here. Instant pressure, good defense. Um, what I was going to say is universal coverage. You want to put universal coverage on all of your corners. It's going to make them play a little bit better uh, all across the board, even if they don't have the ability activated. So even if they don't have the ability activated, it's still going to make them play better coverage um, than they would otherwise. All right, we'll see what he does here on the offensive side of the ball. you got to think a slant or something to Moss. There it is. There's the post. We're going to take that. Good pressure. And right into our Derwin James, right over the middle. Good defense. Cowboys get it up to the 45-yard line, and that's going to be a really, really good turnover for us. And at this point, you know, if you're just playing and you're just chilling, in my opinion, you 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 know, you can do whatever here. You can kind of do whatever you want. If you're playing serious, like you you seriously want to win this game, that's where I like to do. Um, I like to do some different, uh, just a little bit different style here. So. You're going to see we're going to kind of block several people here. We have that playmaker on the left side here. But basically here, again, you know, I'm okay taking a sack. I'm okay just sliding up. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, but he, I don't think he's going to be very successful uh, against PA boot over. So we're going to audible to it. And then the thing that I like to do, you see here, just a little quick flip. Uh, again, it's going to mess the adjustments up. And then hopefully we can get out here. Uh, with the quarterback, he has good contain um, on that time. We're going to release that fade to the tight end, and Vernon Davis makes a huge play for us. I cannot tell you how good that delay fade is. This is such a good route. Now, right here, this is what I'm talking about, about clocking and clock management. And, you know, again, we want to show you what we would do if we're trying to win a tournament game. So I'm going to take this all the way down. And the reason why is because, in my mind, I want to have – I want this to be the last drive of the game. Um, I want to make sure that I, that's really my goal is is to make this the last the last drive of the game. So I'm gonna go to bunch tight end. He's in three three five normal. So you know hopefully he's not able to stop this run. 
but just like we're just trying to get the first down that's all we're trying to do get up get the first down you know and and what i like to do again we're just trying to he only has two timeouts so he's not he's not going to be in a great position to be able to stop a lot of what we want to do so like right here you know inside zone i love when i run inside zone at a, at a bunch i love this motion right here and the reason why is because you can kind of do this little double juke it didn't work out for me that time but um you can obviously do that now what i'm going to do just because of the situation is i'm going to sub in barry sanders um obviously i do need some yardage here though and again remember he has been running a ton a ton of you know coverage style man coverage defense so I'm gonna try and hit that low ball and Randy Moss comes through for us with that route tech ability or not it didn't even have route tech he was just it just it just happened for us so good read now I probably should have subbed in Marcel Reese back in the game for this uh, specific situation right here again he's in 335 normal so you know I don't think that that defense can stop this and sure enough it did and now this actually I mean that's a huge stop for him that is a huge stop for him so what we're gonna do here uh, and what I like to do is I'm gonna come out in strong wing um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sub in a tight end sub in a tight end out wide here so Chris Cooley will be out there and then I'm just gonna sub in like I'm gonna put some fullback dive I'm gonna come out and look at this if he's in a if he's in a defense that I think he could stop me, then I'm gonna I'm not gonna go for this. But per, in a perfect world, um, I want to be able to run fullback dive. That's what I that's what I want to be able to run. I want to be able to run some type of fullback dive. So what I hope happens is I'm gonna come out and power row flipped, and then I hope I'm gonna be able to audible right over into goal line and then just quick snap him. Um, I actually like this. I think this is three four bear. Now this is gonna be a risky run. And then we're going to flip it again and then just kind of quick hike him, try to get this in. And we are able to get that first down. And that's huge. That's huge. That's huge for the deep. You know, again, this is this is huge for the big picture of the game. You know, now 30 seconds. Obviously, he's going to still have the opportunity to get the ball back. But now it's like it's like a much, much more reasonable for me to run. The other thing that I like to do in this situation, like I'll run the clock down here. And, and, and I'm going to actually start with another fullback dive just to get the clock, keep the clock moving, you know, maybe even get him to take a timeout here. Ideally, he would take a timeout. But again, just, you know, kind of simple. If I break through, I break through. I think fullback dive is actually really hard to stop, um, you know, from a defense like this. You know, you really have to kind of sell out a lot for it. Uh, and so I, I like to run fullback dive on, on stuff like this here. And he did call the timeout, so we can just kind of snap it whenever we want. Uh, and there you see there's that instant truck. Gets me about three yards. Now I'm in a, real, a little bit of a weird position. Third and three. You know, you're not guaranteed to pick this up if you run fullback dive. But I do have a really good shot. So I'm going to playmaker this run to the right. And then I'm going to flip the play. You see it's going to bring it left. Haven't ran it left yet. And Marcel Reese busts it open. And that is a man-child. Great play by him. And we're just gonna kneel this out now again if he looks like he's gonna go ahead and quit out if you want to get the full ebooks they're available in the description if you have any questions you can always text me my number is 208-218-6900 thanks for watching today guys